Hello students, here we are going to learn about Optical Access Networks Architect. So basically just start with the some architecture. So here we have discuss about the three different FTTC, FTTB and FTDH. So I will discuss uh, uh, each and every in the some more detail. So basically some the diagram like this, some OLT. Uh, connector is connected with the some ODN network and according to then the FTTC uh, fiber to the curb network is there so they providing this kind of urban coverage optical network unit of technologies so they provide a different uh, uh, speed like the 2.0 gbps if the down and 1.2 uh, 2.5 gbps uh, like the uploading or the up speed is provided clear so these are the basics uh, network architectures providing by the different FTTC, FTTB and FTTA. So start with the first. So from architecture according to this previous diagram the uh, three scenario are available FTTB scenario, FTTC or FTTC cab scenario and third one is the FTTH scenario. So start with the first FTTB. So in this uh, scenario consider the fiber to the building is the deployment of the fiber or optic cable to a specific location within a building then connected to the building existing a uh, copper cable facility there so they are lying to their home or maybe in some of the pa part of the society they uh, they provide only this kind of service and then uh, other network and passing network can connect with the copper cable or kind of twisted pair cable or LAN cable is there so normally this feature is defined that the FTTB in the case of the basement also or FTTB in case of the business also. So in this uh, deployment, the, the business uh, deployment provide a comparatively larger number of ports including like uh, 10, uh, 100 or 1000 base T network. So T for the twisted pay. So provided base T and also ds1 t1 or e1 port so this port is provided ports provided so basis on the some this has the some basic diagram of the uh, business scenario and once the network management is continued with the main network to the central office they provided olt so basically OLD planning is connected with the uh, IP to the particular uh, main uh, through a G interface uh, when the resources or port are insufficient. So OLD can connect the different uh, service Ethernet uh, to the cascading and increase the aggregation of the switch. So this cascading level should not exist uh, about the certain level. So it connected to the optical uh, multiplexer so here the splitter and multiplexer is both using the uh, uh, cases for the different applications through a single fiber and also split by the splitter so i'm just considering the splitter diagram over here yeah? to be connected to the properly to the other different onu services optical network unit or different community provided by the services so planning of optical network so the use of the particular network to build a large number of uh, fiber so this requires a careful planning of the fiber so it results the investment and difficulty using the uh, case of the future network also and third is a splitting level uh, planning so in order to ensure that the network quality in the certain transmission distance the passive optical splitter should adopt the first level of splitting to or two level also splitting so splitter can be said up to level according to the principle have to use so here one uh, gem and splitter is uh, usual so next is ftTC or ftTC cab scenario so in this case fiber to the curb so is the deployment of the fiber close to the customer but not fully to the customer residence so they provide it to the street of the uh, society or in the particular area near of the society and the other exiting network uh, deploy in the case of the copper plant so this is also known as a case of the telephone line or pstn network or in case of the advanced some of the uh, category of the twisted pair uh, cable is also used to deliver service to the actual customer or the customer location of the actual customer 
so following the scenario also known as this category fiber to the neighborhood because the actual network is not giving to the actual customer home so they, they uh, provided to nearby a residence area so that certain times is a fiber to the neighborhood and fiber to the cabin so it is also uh, provided the some network also so fiber to the crop uh, so here is consider some of the basically diagram fiber to the crop yeah. say they provide up to this cable and then rest of the existing network providing the existing copper network so here is twisted pair or copper twisted pair uh, unsealed twisted pair so this kind of cable facility is also available to connect with the particular home user so ftc is uh, use coaxial and twisted pair uh, to send signals from crop to the home so this is a crop network so crop to home this kind of cable is used for the transmissions of data so ftc can serve several uh, customer within a 100 feet so within a uh, sorry 1000 feet so within a 1000 feet uh, they provide uh, several customers in the particular area also ftc involves running a fiber cable from telephone exchange or distribution some point are there the street cabinets which they connect to the standard phone line or broadband connections or provide some particular um, broadband services for that and this combined with the copper cable so this feature is combined with the existing copper cable from the cabinet to the home or business with the dsl line digital scrub subscriber loop or any kind of similar technology is there so they can deliver much faster speed over this uh, shortened distance to cover this particular scenario so next is ftth scenario so the fiber to the home is a complete deployment of the fiber to the customer home with the replacement of the existing network interface devices or any others uh, using the dsl or pst in case agree so this replacement device is called as ont optical network terminal i will discuss in the first ftd b so in this case uh, the particular uh, terminal or particular devices provide or particular network provide end to end fiber optic connections so end to end there is no any other partition is required to connect with the particular customer so they can full distance from the exchange to the building can deliver faster speed than particular previous scenario ftcs and there is a no any copper leg is there so you cannot use any copper or any kind of twisted uh, cable to complete the connections between end to end so ftth uh, also provide connection speed up to 100 mbps so 100 mbps speed is provided uh, and the 20 to 100 times fast as a typical cable modem is provided so FTTH on the large scale will uh, costly because it requires installation of the new fiber to your uh, all the networks so from existing optical fiber cable to the individual users so some community currently enjoy that the uh, basic services of previous category fiber to the crop FTTC uh, service uh, which refers to the installation of user optical fiber to the near homes or near area for and let uh, connect the other part of the copper medium carrying a signal between the curve and the end users so this is a ftdh scenario so they directly the fiber uh, network is uh, op provided so this network is known as a passive optical networks or in certain time uh, some word is uh, hearing in that pon network pon network so this uh, known as a pon network optical network only an optical line transmission available from the user or main uh, the internet side and they can cover the all the users to the fiber cable connections so passive optical network so this uh, connection that uh, pon define that the optical line terminal as the service provider the central office and broadcast data to the several optical network so in this case the pst and its broadcast services internet service provider is also broadcast services some cable services provide so they connect with the different uh, so connect with the olt devices and they have provided a signal to the different ONUs optical network unit available in this particular PON and the customer premises to the passive fiber uh, network 
So all ONT receive the same broadcast data and select in the appropriate portion corresponding to the end user and it's surviving. So it also provide different ONU to the particular location of the user and certain times for the large business user particular end to end traffic uh, end to end data connections. So point to point active Ethernet. So uh, in this case, dedicated point to point connection for each ONT one fiber per customer so each and every customer can using single fiber for the particular uh, data transmission receiver so they can achieve the much higher speed compared to the previous copper and the twisted pair connections so future proof upgrade individual user by changing the electronics use isolation so dedicated connection and simpler traffic management is provided for this uh, uh, p1 services and point to point ethernet services provided over for the particular devices or potential for simpler and lower cost ONT. So they also provide this ONT feature with the simpler and the lower cost devices.